hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how we achieved this simple packing gel hairstyle using crochet curls so if you're interested in seeing how we achieve this hairstyle and you stick around to the end of this video So I started on washed hair, so my hair is still a little bit damp. So I go in with my Mega Growth Leave-In Conditioner and massage into my hair from the roots to the tip of the hair. Just make sure that it's fully incorporated because my hair is going to be dry for a very long period and I don't want it to break. So I take my comb and my blow dryer and I dry my hair completely to incorporate and also fully dry my hair. Take a smaller nose and I use that to straighten my hair. This is very important because it's going to help your hair to lay flat. My hair is been one month since I last relaxed my hair, so it's not laying all flat and silk. So the straightening is going to help it to lie flat. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the parts in I want. I was actually going for a zigzag side part, so I just form the parts as I go and create as many zigzag line or pattern that I want and I just um, straighten the pattern just play around with the parts until you are satisfied and keep checking to see whether what you did was okay by you and if it's okay just put it aside and then you move on to the next section so I just start combing the hair there's going to be a lot of combing when it comes to this hair so I'm going to divide the hair into two sections this I do because I want to create a pattern that's a defined pattern and I want it to show I don't want it to just be those invisible ones you create when you're done with the hair so I'm going to be forming the two parts in that I'm going to make it's very important that you define your pattern from the beginning because that's going to make it to stay for a longer time so dividing my hair into two half is going to serve that purpose so I just cut the remaining half it wasn't doesn't have to be straight because it's still going to be covered and I pack that part I brush I comb define the parts I as you go you have to keep doing this until you have gotten exactly what you want on your hair I'm going to take thread I doubled the thread so it's stronger and I use it to wrap my hair you make sure that you do this very very tight because that is going to define how slick your hair is going to be so I'm just going to define the parts like I said before and then I would go ahead and tie again then I'm going to go to the second half of the hair I just brush comb out and then when I'm satisfied with the level of combing and if it's flat enough it's the way I want I just um, put that section away with um, a clip and then I move to the other parts of the hair so I just do the same thing I did comb and comb until I have gotten the flatness I want from the hair and then after I do that I'm just going to um, wrap it with the thread and just going to do that you want this thread to be very very tight so you wrap until it's tight and then I go ahead and define my line again you have to keep doing this because there's a lot of combing and moving around so your line can be a little bit disturbed in the process. So I just combed the hair again just to make sure everything enters and then I tie it one more time just to make sure that it's very tight. So if you're down tying, I recommend that you check the hair to see if it's too tight and release the parts that are. And then I just split the hair into three places and then I use that to tug the hair a little so it's tight before braiding the hair down completely. So I use my 
petal styling gel to create the first coat for my hair and i apply a very large amount to the hair because i i wanted that dark but still natural look to the hair so i was avoiding the parts that are closest to the pattern and the front part of the head so i just applied more at the back and around the hair just to give it a base and just to put the hair in the particular format i want it to be so i just comb and restyle the hair and create my parts and that so I just take more thread and use it to tie the hair. It's easier for you to get more cold when the hair is wet. So I do that. And then I take my So Fine Gel. This is a white gel, transparent gel, but it's very, very strong and has a very good holding property. And this is going to also help my hair to slick and lay down very flat. So I'll just comb and incorporate. You notice that I am putting this at every part of the hair, unlike the black gel that I was avoiding the parts closer to the pattern of the hair. So I'll just apply and comb and define and move on with the hair. So I take my eco styling gel and I use that to cover the hair. I apply a generous amount to the hair because I want that natural look and slick laid down look that eco styling gel gives and also it's holding properties. So I just apply enough until I am satisfied and then I comb, restyle, redefine my parts and I move on to the next section. So I'm going to apply more at the back of my hair and I avoid the braided parts because you don't want to apply there. I take my brush and I brush my hair. If you apply the braided part of your hair, your hair is going to itch you because it's going to take longer time for it to dry than the other parts of your hair. So I just keep defining my hair and all of that. So I recommend that if your hair is natural that you use the so fine gel and the eco styling gel to slick your hair. That is going to give it a good hold. The black gel might not really do so much for you. So I take my blow dryer and dry the hair up to 90% level of dryness and when the hair is um, almost completely dried i use my hands to feel the hair just to make sure that there are no parts that are still wet and still have gel in it and that so after that i'm going to wrap the braided parts of my hair around and just create a little bun and take my thread and needle and sew that i'm just going to sew back and forth so that it's tight and it's staying in one position and once i've gotten that i'm going to tie and then cut this is the hair we use i like to call this a spring coral it was made using kenekolon braiding hair you can see how bouncy and springy it is i'm going to be linking the video in the description box so you guys should check that out and we got three bundles from one pack of kenekolon braiding hair and 68 pieces of um, crochet so i'm going to be taking one piece and a crochet pin I'm going to start crocheting the first um, bundle of the hair. I'm going to use that to create a boundary around the bun that we created. I'm just going to keep going around and be adding the um, hair directly to the hair. I've not, if you notice that I am avoiding the bun and I'm at attaching the um, crochet curls directly to my hair because I didn't dry the hair completely so I'm still able to um, fix um, the crochet hair to it so make sure that your hair isn't completely dried but dried enough that it's not staining your hands and messing up your work so I'm just going to keep um, up at touching the crochet curls around the hair until I have covered the bun totally or until I exhaust the first bundle of the hair.
for the second bundle i'm going to use that to fill in the bond that's the part we avoided when we we're creating the boundary with the first bundle of the hair so i'm going to take that and fill in the bone you will try and be patient enough and feel this and be checking as you go for um crochet it's all about setting so if you miss the setting the hair is not going to be nice so just keep checking the places that are not um, filled up I'm going to fill up those parts so don't be in a haste to just pack the crochet holes in one part of the hair just make sure that you're always checking to see that every part is totally covered and filled up I do this until I have exhausted the second bundle of the hair on until i've gotten a full coverage you can see how full it is and for the third bundle i use the third bundle to fill up the front i want the front to come up and have a little bit of lift so we're not going to add this um, bundle to any other part we're just going to focus on the top part of the hair until we get that lift we are looking for So you can see that it's fully covered and every part is accounted for and we have gotten the lift we need. So I'm going to be taking Kanekolon braiding hair. I'm going to use that to wrap the hair to cover the crochet knots and also um, hide the fact that it's actually crochet. So I'm just going to wrap the Kanekolon braiding hair around the hair the um braid the wrap is going to be sitting on top of the bond that we created so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere so just tie and hide the ends so upon checking the hair the knots are not fully covered so i take more conicolon braiding hair and cover that part that is not fully covered you make sure that it's very tight that you're wrapping the hair very very tight and that the hair is completely covered so upon looking at it it's totally covered now so i take my holding spritz and i spray around my hair this is going to make the gel to be um, stronger and also last longer i actually went ahead and added more gel to my hair and took my blow dryer and dried my hair completely so I take my oil sheen and I spray around my hair just to give it shine and also to make sure that it's not just all dried and I'm also going to apply it to the curl so that it moves easily and also has shine. I'm going to clean the edges to take out the excess product and this is the final look guys you can actually tell that i was feeling this hair if you enjoyed watching this video do give this video a thumbs up to like drop a comment in the comment section for me subscribe if you are new to my channel and don't forget to check out the videos i recommend in the description box for you because if you enjoyed watching this style you are definitely going to enjoy watching those other ones and i'll see you guys in next week's video